Earlier this week, uh, Virginia formally endorsed our candidates. Um, we have a lengthy process that goes through where actually our members actually vote by lodge and they submit one ballot to us. And we uh, came out publicly on Thursday at a press conference in Richmond to endorse Bob McDonald for governor. These are the people that our members felt were the best to keep this Commonwealth strong and keep it moving forward over the next four years. Um, we hope everyone else feels the same thing. Now's the time for us to get behind them and start working to help get them, get them elected. The room the third. We're going to be out there working for them. Now I'm asking you all to do the same thing. we got to get out there and pass it on to your friends, your neighbors, everybody in your neighborhood. Because we want this whole ticket with Ken, Ted, Bill, uh, Governor Bill Bowley, and Bob McDonald. And we can only do it with everybody. We need everybody's help. So let's all work for it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, good afternoon to all of you. And I, I want to thank all the FOP members for your endorsement this last week. Certainly it's one that we value a great deal. As I said on Thursday, it is by far, without question, the most important endorsement in the race for Attorney General, and I'm proud to have it. As, as a grassroots guy myself, I particularly value how you all come to your conclusions. That it isn't a board of three or five people sitting in a room, that it is all the members who have a say up through your ranks. And I really appreciate that. Uh, I really appreciate that. That makes uh, earning that uh, endorsement all the more, all the more something to be happy about and proud of, and I really appreciate that. And for the interviews, who have the next governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia, Bob McDonald. after all that ice cream. That was uh, very nice. That is some darn good ice cream. I'll tell you, that's going to be the official ice cream of Virginia when I get elected governor. That's, uh, that is really some sweet uh, ice cream. Thank you all for coming. Uh, leaders from all around uh, Fairfax, Prince William, Loudoun, uh, you all are just uh, just terrific, and particularly our leaders from the FOP. Uh, Tommy, thank you so much. Uh, my Part of my home sheriff department in Henrico County, Tommy Edwards, uh, thank you for taking the time to not only come down, but to be in Virginia Beach and all over the state uh, to run an outstanding uh, organization. Tommy Stiles, past president, thank you for uh, for your leadership. And all the members of the board, Dave and Kevin and others that are, that are here, uh, you all are terrific. Uh, I'm a member of Lodge 8 down in Virginia Beach. In fact, a lifetime member as of last Thursday. I got the uh, lifetime membership and uh, been a member for about 18 years. And... It uh, truly is, I agree with Ken Cuccinelli, this is the most important endorsement uh, in all of the statewide campaigns is being able to get the uh, support I and the uh, endorsement first time because I, I cared about our, our law enforcement officers and public safety. I realized that victims were getting uh, not getting nearly the protect, protect, uh, protections that they needed. Criminals were being treated too leniently. And that's why, Bob, we spent a lot of time that first decade, if you remember, abolishing parole and establishing truth and sentencing and three strikes and you're out, juvenile justice reform, drug sentencing reform, gang law reform, uh, sexual predator reform, so that we've got now, I think, the tools uh, and the laws that equip our Commonwealth attorneys, our sheriffs, and our police officers and other law enforcement officers uh, to do the outstanding job that they, that they do. We're one of the safest states in the country. Uh, some of our individual cities are the safest communities in the, in the nation uh, for their size, and it's all because of this terrific partnership, I think, between the legislature, 
our law enforcement officers on the street that are, that are doing this, uh, this terrific work. I've made public safety a big part of what I'd like to do as Attorney General, continue the battle against drug dealers. Uh, we've outlined a number of things we need to do, especially the repeat drug dealer. They need to be locked up for a lot, much longer period of time. I've made some proposals to dramatically increase the sentences for repeat drug dealers. If they've done it already once and they're back in front of the court, they need to be put away for a much longer period of time to stay away from yeah. selling poison to our children. And the same with gangs. So, you know, we've had the battle of gangs for about 10 years now in Virginia. We cannot let it take the kind of hold that is taken in LA, Chicago, New York. Uh, Steve and I know we're together with Frank Wolf a couple months ago to outline a very detailed uh, gang violence prevention uh, set of laws. We need to continue the work uh, that Jerk Jackson talked about against uh, sex offenders. And I've recommended lifetime monitoring for some of these offenders that are not civilly committed because they're so uniquely dangerous. The recidivism rates are so high that we cannot let these folks roam uh, on the street. It's a danger to our women and our children. I also think we've got to do everything we can to support you brave men and women in uniform so that those of you uh, like Lynn and, and Steve can hire the very best and retain the very best law enforcement officers. I know because of our sometimes our salary and our benefit levels, we have folks going uh, to other states or federal agencies. So I want to make sure we can continue our work to bump up that multiplier to make sure that we don't change the deal that we promised law enforcement officers on retirement for 25 and 25 that they can retire. It's completely a breach of trust to change that, uh, that deal in midstream. And we need to make sure that public safety remains the top priority of government. This governor has cut, several times cut public safety. I think that's a mistake. I've written and lobbied the General Assembly uh, to restore those cuts and more often than not, they have because they too realize in a down economy, you have the potential for an increase in crime and that's the worst thing that you can do is to cut uh, public safety. And uh, some of these recent cuts, if I've got the privilege of being governor, I'll restore those cuts and make sure we honor the sacrifices of our men and women so they've got everything they need to excel. So, uh, <laughs> let, me just, uh, let me just conclude by saying thank you so much uh, for this immense uh, honor of uh, being endorsed by the Fraternal Order Police. Uh, as you heard from, uh, from Bob and, and Jackson and, and Ken and the others, we need your help. Now that we've been equipped with this uh, great sign of support uh, for, uh, for this endorsement, we need now your hard work. And all of you have been elected uh, before, the delegates, Julie, others that have run for office, you know this to be true. We are the tip of the iceberg as candidates, but we don't win without people that believe in our cause, that are willing to go and knock on a door, send out an email, make a phone call, put up a sign, put on the bumper sticker, man the polls. This is what's gonna be necessary for this last 37 days if, they, if we're going to win. So now that hopefully you all know who your law enforcement team is, uh, if you will work far hard for us uh, during this last month and a half, uh, I know we'll have a great victory on November 3rd and we will continue to work hard to support men and women in uniform. Thank you very much. Thank you.